Greetings artists. Today I'm going to talk to you about mixing paint and adding paint to your ice cream sundae drawing. Yesterday we went through all the steps of drawing your bowl with your scoops of ice cream, um, setting it on a table, and drawing your wallpaper. Um, now for the next step you are going to need liquid paint. Um, this is what I would recommend using for this project. You could use watercolors if you didn't have liquid paint, but I would recommend having liquid tempera in the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, plus white to make tents. So um, for the first step, um, what we wanna do is we're gonna use just the red on our cherry. So I'm gonna get a little bit of red and move it over to paint the cherry. One big reminder I wanna give you about liquid tempera is that when I am painting with liquid tempera and I need to switch colors, it's really important that I rinse my brush really well in the bucket and then I dry it. That's why I've got this paper towel. You don't wanna add any water to this paint because it already has all the water it's gonna need. Okay, next I'm gonna move a little bit of my red to the center in between red and yellow and then I'm gonna get a good scoop of yellow and I'm gonna mix, mix, mix because my next stage is gonna be sherbet orange sherbet now my red your yours might be a little different but my red is super pigmented that means it has intense pigment um, so i need a little more yellow paint than i need red because my red is just darker all right that looks like a pretty good orange next i'm going to paint in my next two scoops using orange and I'm gonna do mine in rainbow colors. Now, that being said, you could paint yours in any order that you would like or any flavors or colors you would like. This is just how I wanna create mine. That doesn't mean yours has to match, but it's absolutely okay if it does. All right, so next I'm gonna use yellow. So I do need to go ahead and come up here, rinse my brush. I'm scrubbing it really well at the bottom of my bucket. I wanna get all that paint out of the bristles and then I'm gonna wipe to get the extra water off. And then I'm gonna come down here and rub it really well on my paper towel until there's no water left. Excellent. All right, next, I just need yellow. Let's see, is this, this would be like a lemon, a lemon sorbet or lemon ice. Ooh, those are so good in the summer. Excellent. All right, up next, let's see. I'm gonna mix yellow and green, or yellow and blue to make green. Um, but in my mind, just a regular green ice cream kinda sounds like it would taste a little funky, but I can think of one type of ice cream that is green, but it's lighter, and that's mint chocolate chip. So to make mint chocolate chip, I am gonna take pretty good scoop of yellow and then I'm just going to barely dip into the blue. I don't want that much blue because again the blue is a darker or richer pigment and if I get too much blue then it's going to mix um, and be mostly blue. It's going to overpower my yellow so I won't get any green. Oh that's an excellent light green. All right next I'm also going to take a good scoop of white because again I'm making mint chocolate chip and I want that to be a lighter green. White is gonna make the color lighter. So I'm gonna mix that really well on my palette. Oh yes, that is perfect. Most excellent. All right, now I'm gonna pull my mint chocolate chip across those scoops. Now, if I wanted to get really detailed after this mint chocolate chip dries, uh, when it's no longer, this mint green is no longer wet, I could actually go in and make some brown, which I'll show you how to do at the end. And I could add my little dots of chocolate chip. Totally. All right, up next, I'm gonna scrub, 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 scrub. Get all that paint out of my brush. And then I'm gonna come down here and dry. If I go to wipe on my paper towel and there's any paint left, that tells me I did not wash well enough and I need to go back and fix that. All right, up next is blue, but again, um, if I had ice cream that was this bright blue, I'd be like, mm, I don't know if I want to eat that. 
don't know if I would like that ice cream, but I can think of one type of ice cream that is a light blue, and that's cotton candy. So I'm gonna take a little scoop of blue and a pretty decent scoop of white, and I'm gonna mix, 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 mix until they're all blended. Oh yes, see this looks delicious. All right, I'm gonna take my cotton candy, I'm come over here and pull it across these scoops, get them coated really well. Excellent. Scoop number two. Okay, you'll also notice as I'm painting, some of my paint is going over my Sharpie lines a little bit, and that is absolutely okay. I'm going to be okay with that. When my painting is all dry, I will retrace all my outlines with Sharpie and make them pop back off the page so I don't need to worry about that one little bit. All right. Excellent. All right, scrub, 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 scrub. Up next, we are gonna mix red and blue to make violet. I don't know about you. I don't know if you've ever had a violet colored ice cream. I'm just using a tiny bit of blue because it's super pigmented, remember? And I'm using a lot more red. Um, I have had a lavender ice cream before. It was lavender flavored, and the color of it was violet. So I'll let you decide on your lavender or your um, violet if you feel like it needs to be um, this pigment. This also could be like blackberry or raspberry sorbet. Or if you want to add white and make a tint, that's absolutely fine too. All right. I like it this color. It does remind me of um, like a fresh berry sorbet. I don't know, what do you think, friends? Would you like blackberry or raspberry better? I think I'd like blackberry. That sounds pretty yummy. This could also be pomegranate now that I think about it. Pomegranate would be another flavor that would be around this color, this nice purple violet. All right. Excellent. Okay, my last row of scoops. Now I've covered the whole rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Um, so I'm going to rinse, 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 rinse. And up next, we need to create brown. So I'm going to show you how to create a brown. And your brown is going to vary. It's going to depend on, um, you know, the exact pigment of, of your um, paint. But essentially what we need to do is we need to mix two colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. You get to choose which one. So I'll either mix a little bit of red with green, a little bit of orange with blue, a little bit of yellow with violet to make my brown. So since I've got a good amount of um, violet over here, I'm gonna pick up a scoop of yellow. I'm gonna come over here and start mixing. I'm gonna need more yellow. That wasn't enough. I had a lot more violet than I thought. But that's okay, because I need lots of brown. So colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, when they're next to one another, they look great. They complement one another. They say, oh, hey, you look awesome. No, I insist you look awesome. But when we mix them together, they actually make mud or brown color. So there's a little bit of color theory for you. So with my brown, I'm gonna use my brown. I'm gonna come up here and paint my cherry stem. If I made one, you didn't have to make a cherry stem. Of course, that was totally up to you. And also, I'm gonna take, I think I'm just gonna pull a little bit of my brown here, and I'm gonna mix some white in with it because I wanna make some chocolate ice cream. And I feel like a good chocolate ice cream is a nice light tint of brown. There we go. Oh, yes, that looks perfect. All right, so I'm going to come down here. It almost looks like milk chocolate. If you want yours to be darker, um, like if you want to make a dark chocolate or a fudge ice cream, or maybe even hot fudge, you could blend just a tiny dot of black into your brown paint, and that would make it darker. Um, adding black is called making a shade of a color. Adding white is called making a tint. Black makes it darker. 
white makes it lighter. That makes total sense, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna paint these scoops and then I wanna to talk to you for just a moment about your background. Your background, you get to decide what colors, you get to decide how many colors, you get to decide exactly how you're gonna paint that. I would fill your whole paper with, with paint. I would paint it from top to bottom, side to side. On mine, um, what I believe I am going to do, I'm gonna have my bowl be one solid color. So I'm just gonna paint right over my Sharpie lines and I'm gonna be okay with that because once it dries, I'll still be able to see those lines through my paint. And then on my wall, I'm gonna paint the stripes in. So I think I might do maybe just two colors. Maybe I'll do like green and yellow, green and yellow stripes. And then my table, I'm gonna paint one solid color, uh, maybe blue. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So you decide how you wanna color in your background. Remember, mix those colors to make secondaries. Mix your primaries to make secondaries. Mix your white in with colors to make tints. And if you want a darker color, mix your black in to make a shade. Happy creating.